Oh, Lord, y'all. One of the worst things that could happen to a creator just happened to me. I had five or six videos loaded up. And um, my audio was so unpredictable that it cut off the audio on um, on all of my videos. I got so discouraged. You know, y'all just don't know what it takes to do this. Sometimes it's just so nerve-wracking. It makes you just want to holler. But anyway, uh, um, that's what that's that's what it is. So if I'm attempt to do this again, I'm I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, first of all, I want to give a shout out to Little Romeo for standing up. For for himself. Y'all probably say, what? How dare you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, as a parent, as a grandparent, I um, I think it's very important that we allow our offspring to talk about what they didn't like about growing up under our dictatorship. I mean, when we grew up, when I grew up at least, there was no Oprah. <laughs> Uh, these kids now, they grew up on listening to Oprah. And one thing, whether you like Oprah or not, she kind of helped us as black people un identify what emotional abuse, financial abuse. Um, well, of course, we all knew what physical abuse was because that was very easy. We had ironing cord whoopings and uh, razor strap beatings and so those things we'd come to accept as just how black people raise their kids. What I want to say about this is because, like I said the other day, I, I love both of these young men. Um, I think it's very important that both Percy's understand that there's validity in what both of them are saying. Uh, I'm all for Romeo getting his bag first of all you don't advertise a product since you were a little kid and then wake up at 18 years old and and you know realize that you have no residuals from that because your father had to pay taxes you 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 said you was okay with that but that's what happened i don't think no child should be put in that position because guess what they still work it there's child labor laws <laughs> that are in effect, okay? And the reason why I'm speaking like this because this is a pill that a lot of us parents have to swallow. And a lot of times we don't do very good by it. But I know one thing, when your kids say stuff to you, and they're adults now, I say offspring, and they say things to you that are totally give you that sick feeling in the pit of your stomach and you just want to choke them or whatever, you need to sit in it. That's the time when you need to sit in your infallibilities. They have every right to tell you how they felt growing up under your leadership. And because you paid the bills does not give you a, a clear path to abuse them. You know, my father, I never touched the light switch and the lights didn't come on. I tell people all the time how my father was a fantastic provider. But most of the men back there, at least the men that I knew, they provided for their families, okay? Uh, this is a new breed of men. I, I don't even call them men anymore, males. But there's a new breed of males that's out here right now and they just got it all reversed in terms of how they support their families and what they think about their legacy and offspring. So we're not talking about that. I give Percy credit for that. But I also discredited him because he put a lot of hurt on his family. And you ha and yes, nobody's perfect, but that all that pain has to go somewhere. And Romeo has every right as a father now 
to talk about the things and to get them off his chest because I know he loves his daddy and I know his daddy loves him. So as opposed to us picking sides, like I heard the dude Charleston White talking about, I'm on team wrong, uh, P and I'm on team. Dude, you need to shut up because your kids might be uh, somewhere dogging you out or talking about you like a dog if they haven't already. Because you are a bad dictator. Okay? And when you don't allow your children, your offspring, the safe space to tell you. Because Michael Jackson, like that song, uh, if you uh, can't feed your baby, yeah, yeah, then don't have a baby. And don't think maybe if you can't feed your baby, you'll be always trying. Stop that child from crying. My point is, our kids are not responsible for us paying the electric bill and the gas bill and the taxes and all that. Because guess what? If they wasn't around, this is not like it was in the 40s where your kids out here working in the fields and you have big families so they can add to the income. Nowadays, these children at 13, 14 have to have a work permit. That means they're entitled to money. And y'all can't just look over that like abusive parents and be like, well, that's what I said and that's where it got to be. Man, that has got to be the worst excuse for moving forward as a group of people and as a family that I've ever heard. And that's why we stay losing. That's why we can't even accept criticism from our own children. We can't even, and they're not even children anymore. They're grown-ass people in their 30s, and they come to you and say, look, you know what, Mama, I didn't like how you took my whole check. Or, Mama, I didn't like how you put uh, all those bills in my name. And so when I went to college or when I turned 18 and I wanted something in my name, I couldn't get it because you ran up my, my you dirtied up my name. And if I was in that position and I did that to my child, my response should be, you know, son or daughter, you are absolutely correct. I, I was at a bad state or... You know, I was irresponsible at that time. I could have. I wish I could have did better. And I, I'm sorry. How much does it take for a parent to say that to a kid? And if you feel that that's too much for you to say to your child, you shouldn't be a parent. Because that person is not healthy. It's not going to be healthy living with you. You're a tyrant. And a lot of us are. And the worst thing about it is we can't admit it. Because all we were shown was tyrannical behavior. So I wish both of them brothers well. And I just had to come back and say that because they're going to be all right. They got love. And sometimes you have to go uh, to, the, to the medium that will get the person's attention. Because sometimes when you get behind closed doors and you try to talk, to the person, either if there's not a mediator there, they get mad, they walk out, they scream, they shut it down, they intimidate, they uh, bully, they do all those things. So you have to go gray rock or you have to uh, do it from a distance because you don't trust their behavior. I know. Been there. So all I'm saying is to all the parents out there, that's who I'm speaking to right now. Including this Charleston White dude. Um, I don't know how many kids you got. But I do know this. With love and kindness have I drawn thee. And if you're going to sit there and think that. Because you bought some shoes. Or you took it brought it out. And did this. That your kid don't have a reason to complain about your leadership. As they become adults. They're not your children anymore. They're your offspring. And now they're parents themselves. Then that means you got a small way of looking at life. And then it seems to me that you're more in line of a control freak. And nobody wants to live with that. Because there ain't, ain't no rationale in it. 
I'm an adult, you an adult, and you still think I'm three years old and you're going to manage my life or talk to me the same way I, you did when I was two and three and four? No way. And as parents, we should accept that and welcome it because that means our children, our offspring are going to be okay because now they can stand up to who God is in their life. So I'm out. I had to say that. And if you like what you hear, please subscribe and share the channel. And I also want to thank um, Davy Ann for the donation that you made to the Cash App. Um, I thank you very much. And those of you who have um, uh, um, donated or watched the commercials, even though I know they're boring, I really appreciate That really helps with the algorithms. And I'm really trying to get my subscriber uh, count up. And I appreciate every little thing that you do. So y'all have a great day. And leave your comments below. And tell me what you think about this. I'll see you in the next video.